today's video is going to be very special because I'm going to talk about tomorrow war and what the critics are missing. And what the critics don't understand what makes tomorrow war so popular with the average person. So what are critics missing about tomorrow's war? Let me start off by saying, is tomorrow war an Academy Award winning picture? No. Is tomorrow's war something that is completely edgy and starting something new? No. Is tomorrow war breaking down some new cultural barriers? No. I don't think critics understand what tomorrow war is. Tomorrow's war is entertaining. Tomorrow's war is something the average person, which is most people, like. Tomorrow's war doesn't have to be something so edgy, something so new that critics have to like it. I don't think critics understand what movies are anymore. Apes do not want war. Movies are made to entertain people. They're not here to influence the direction of the world. They're not here to break some sort of new barriers. Yes, they can have elements of that. But the movie itself has to be entertaining first. Ah, Miss Goodnight. James. Are we a little overdressed, Goodnight? That's it. It has to be entertaining first. And if you want to have something woven in the movie that gives the movie some sort of weight, but still respects the people who are watching it, then go for it. There is nothing wrong with it. The problem is that critics don't understand what tomorrow's war is. It's a popcorn flick to entertain the people. And it has done that in a big way. Does everything in the movie have to be by the numbers? Does it have to make sense? Does everything have to line up in a certain kind of category? No. A movie just has to be entertaining. That's all. And critics don't understand that. What movies are, are a minstrel. They're a jester. They're a clown. They're a game. They're entertainment. That is it. It is not a cure for a disease. It is not education that is changing children's lives. It is a movie that you sit down, you eat your popcorn with your family or friends, and you're entertained. It is not rocket science. The same thing with movies and all forms of entertainment. As long as the mass majority of your audience likes what you're doing, it doesn't matter how the movie is presented. The problem is critics are used to movies that are trying to be something they're not. Trying to educate the world forcefully that the world does not want. Trying to meet quotas that doesn't work in real life. The critics are thinking and looking at the movies as though there's something that should be of some grand value. They breached the wall! Movies are made to entertain. First, if no one watches your movie, then what is the point of it? If you have this grand masterpiece that checks off all the boxes, but yet no one sees it, it has no point. It is non-existent people go to movies and give that movie life by people sitting down and enjoying it they're called fans and what's happening with modern-day critics and what's happening with modern-day Hollywood 
is that they forgot. They are the jester. They are the minstrel. They are the clown. They are the, the football player. They are the basketball player. They are entertainers. And your job is to entertain people. That is it. So that is what critics are missing about tomorrow's war. Tomorrow's war is just joy. People to mindlessly check out and enjoy what's on the screen with their families, their kids, their friends, their mates, whoever. A movie is to make people enjoy what they're seeing, no matter what form that movie comes in. If it's a stupid, dumb popcorn flip movie, who cares as long as it's entertaining? If it's a serious, enlightening picture that wants to inform the world about something, who cares as long as it's entertaining to the most of the people who is watching it? Entertainment is first. Everything is last. And that is what tomorrow's war is. So what do you think, guys? Why do you think critics hate this movie so much? Leave your comments below.